available for any of the mid round and Roden just gonna jump scare Yamp. He snuck by his, his boom bot. Uh, who, look, look at this, Akuma, one damage a hit. Somehow he's managed to kill someone with that tiny crosshair. While well, Logan comes Ooh. in, sight set on this guy. Look at that. Easily double, putting Scream into a one versus two. It's winnable, but 12 seconds. He's got to be fast. He dashes right out the bat, but he's not going to be able to win this off kills. And now he's stunned. It's gg No way out of here. And even if he gets the kill, which he won't. Ha hop grouping up, though. They're going to try to combat some of these problems by just playing it together using their utility to clear angles and whoa right. the nade kill the shot from logan a flash for a repeat oh, he's got it. a rolling he's thunder to be teammate right he is which kind of <laughs> slows down that push <laughs> and kind of ruins any hope but they've got to kill through the cage which helps <gasps> oh no they really scream is alone angles down they're just pushing so aggressive and for liquid it was the inverse and that means that you get free upgrades on the other side <gasps> akuma he's so sneaky he manages to completely evade scream's gaze as he comes out onto the site and now well yampi despite his good position isn't going to get away with anything he's caught attempting to pop down the paranoia. At this stage, I think that uh, Team Liquid's best hope probably isn't B, and they're realizing that because the rotates have come through. BDS are stacked up, but Roden's pushing down mid as well. And that's going to be Spike not dropped, Tom. I saw that one coming. Maybe a little bit of over-aggression for a round when you know that they only have pistols. Chances are they're going to be oh, hitting every single headshot. Whichever chair it is, I will buy it. Oh, I'm just saying. He gets smacked in the face by a fault line and whiffs the first bullet of the spray, guaranteeing no more than the one. Takas is already in heaven and almost catches the kill on the cross. 12 HP left on Link, and now he's the final player. Takas drops down. He's known to be on the floor, but Link needs the shot on the head, and he gets it on 12 HP. Link clutches it out and... He Basically getting information. Playing a little bit more passive. The spam through. Not quite going to do as much as they'd like. And the blast pack trying to offset Scream at least a little bit. We're also going to see the paranoia thrown through. And it's Hoppy already to pick off one. Yumpy in with the trade. And actually, Liquid are making this look possible. The problem now is time. And Roden still within the site. He's going to pop the showstopper. But it doesn't matter. His teammates have got his back. And Solcast has six seconds, Mitch. He needs to... Well... Almost pull out an aimbot to win this. Logan is primed and ready. And we've already seen Hoppy's reactions on swinging, but now they've got some pistols to back these up. They're playing the numbers. They're grouped up together, and there's not going to be a flash or a fault line. In fact, Hoppy's going to take dry contact, and it's Solkus to take him down right off the bat. That headshot percentage just seems to keep on increasing. With that shot, a weapon is retrieved. Sight is gained, and Roden tries to lob an aid in to deal some damage, tickle up the planter, and instead, he loses his life. Now the advantage sits comfortably in Team Liquid's favor and even gets extended by Link. He's forced out of position but that just turns into his own little advantage in finding the kill. I think we do actually see some of the best plays from BDS, though. Full five-man retake. Looking to try and take this one as a squad yumpy, though. He just wants to disrupt it. A swing in. A little bit risky. And the paranoia are actually going to make things awkward as they look to come out of heaven. Yumpy as well is just patrolling inside this smoke. And not a single bullet connected. He's literally just dodging every single one. And because of that... It's left a very small amount of space for them to play with. He's going to go swinging, but Logan still manages to win the duel. Now Roden's found another, but the clock has been ticking for such a long time that they need to get a move on. And it puts things back. 2v2. Make it none as they clear things up so quickly. But They want to get the kills before they're on the side, but there's three players on B, man. BDS know exactly what's going on. Now here comes the Cosmic Divide. That's going to slow down any sort of push and give them the advantage on these duels. Oh. Takas is able to double kill and drop the spike. They now need to push up into him and they haven't even got sight. They're going to deal with Hoppy first. And although he falls, you've still got to get the spike and there's just no time. Plus you're running into all this utility potentially because like, it's a Viper because you've got Breach up. So the Aftershock comes in. You've even got Akuma potentially able to throw some stars down. Although they're all fairly rough for what seems to be an A execute. 
Takas doesn't manage to destroy the Tiger, so he's... Oh, what? Akuma's just swinging top ramp? Now coming back to watch over ropes, and there's a player about to sneak his way up, and Sulkus, no, not sneaking, running in fact, and although the kill goes his way, BDS quickly turn it into an advantage for themselves, the Rolling Thunder pops Cryptics into the air, and although he gets the kill beforehand, I'm gonna copy that guy and just run in, and while they're pressuring onto the site, Logan is low, but he's still managing to take players with him, and then Akuma just swings out! through their smoke and right now that massive gap is on the a site because they've decided they want to play a retake well, the seekers at least will give away that there is going to be players up towards heaven and they will keep on to that control although there has been a little bit of aggression coming out i think it's yumpy who's now pushed right up so if they try and wrap onto the ramp it's going to be a little bit difficult but again as said this is where bds look to thrive the crossfire is decent oh but taka God. swings back between the two of them and somehow gets both and now link is going to be stunned in the corner they know exactly so where he is the swing is too easy that was a five on five retake and they lose one man sidebar team liquid had a really close series versus Fnatic. they looked incredibly good solkus had possibly the best game of his life after a steady trajectory upwards oh, over the last no. couple of months rodin he's after no. them but he's not good for the kill with the showstopper doesn't matter though because he's got what? <laughs> He's got a vandal. <laughs> that was awkward. God damn, man. And this is a full by round for Liquid. They need they need it. Obviously, it's the last round. They want to get on three. Three, Tom. That was that was mediocre on the old split. Never mind the current one. Oh, oh come on. Okay. They brought it back at least into Look at the closer scenario, but yeah, they're, they're incredibly low on HP. They're going to need you're a, some sort of You're a snake play. oil salesman, Tom. I, I, you're a the, snake the, oil salesman. You gotta try, Mitch. I've got you gotta 60 try. HP between them, Tom. Don't give people false hope. Oh, no. Look at this. They're dead. They're dead to rights. Not a chance. <laughs> you see one... The deep smoke being thrown does give a bit of a one-way, but not really an angle to take it. Instead, they're going to be towards the back of sight. Link will be able to delay them at least a moment. And in fact, Akuma just goes in alone. The rest of the team were falling back at that scenario. He wanted to fight once again. Now, they've already yeah. traded things back into a closer scenario, but Link as the sight hold, always fantastic. And he will gift. Compliments earlier on for Liquid. They know I got a lot of love for them, but here's the thing. You know, I don't think I can hurt their feelings any more than they're already hurt. <laughs> Scream, though. He's oh. looking for a little ace, oh. isn't he? Oh, only the 4K. It's like to be in this position, you know, for, for Team Liquid, it's really tough to fight against the attack side of BDS for exactly the reasons that you've mentioned, Tom. Like, these guys can be explosive. But right now, it seems like they're fighting that aggression with some of their own. They're taking advanced map control. But the second that you lose that mid player, now you're in big trouble. If BDS go in and break that tripwire, you're guaranteed a two-man A-hold. And at that point, B is weak as hell. Now, they haven't done that, but there's still only those two players on B. Solkus is good to catch one from below. In fact, follows onto a second, and that blade storm still active. Will find the victim in the form of... Always seems to be good for a multi frag but they need him here. And Rodan has just gone blast packing through into the corner, but he falls. Again, it's always Link with these double kills. So good as the sight anchor, and he is turning this round on its head. But Hoppy has managed to find one back. He's even going to use his wonderful ultimate to at least give away their positions and allow for this flag to come through takas with two he needs just one more to convert it and to help liquid relive the nightmares Reloaded of prior first. teams but he's not going to be oh. able to do it it is cryptics to save them overextend slightly but in fact it's bds that give away the advantage not for long. Nakuma very quick to trade into heaven, giving them at least a little bit of extra space. But we know that they're more than happy to try and switch things up. Screen taking a risk. Going to go back into heaven, make sure that they're not going to lose control of their spawn area. That would be an absolute nightmare. Instead, almost funneling them in to what looks like a strong setup. And in fact, oh. it's going to be that rolling thunder. No one tap this time as Rodan is gone. 
down and out. BDS, they lose the man advantage. They also lose their primary avenue into the A site. Yes, Hoppy can walk out, but look where the spike is. It's trapped. They wanted to bring it in through ropes, and he failed to jump over that tripwire, which puts him in a pretty awkward spot, but this is all a ruse. It's all a fake. They want to drag the players off of B, but Yampi's still waiting. Logan needs to kill now, and he's out of time. Not able to get there. Just a second in it, but that oh. will be the round going to Tech. From what is looking like a rough scenario, did he spot the scope? If he spotted the, the scope of the gun there, yeah. this might all be over for Yumpy. Fighting into this is not fun, man. It really isn't. There's seekers to play oh, with, though. They could be something that make a big, big difference. What? Rolling Thunder doesn't actually manage to cap cryptics and Takas is down Yampi even gets caught but that might not be enough Akuma spraying away but he can't get it done that was a swift end to what looked to be a convincing those jewels versus liquid because the ults didn't quite connect in the way they wanted to I genuinely think they win that round if they do nothing yeah, yeah I, I think you could be right trying to, to cut that retake before it starts Ends up putting them in a oh, very vulnerable position in road and pops the ultimate. Doesn't get anything for it. This space in heaven. Not really worth oh, no. and That's such a good flash, but Solkus runs right into him. Screen still holding strong on the site, but players coming in from every direction and they just overwhelm him. BDS now have the site and the plant with a two-man advantage. Hoppy <laughs> on his way through middle has been spotted, but... I mean, he's pretty free to move. No one can really punish him, and he's got a tripwire behind. That gives heaven control in the late round of BDS. And this is the... Whoa, actually, no. He's going to go back through middle, fearing perhaps being 2v1 in heaven. Uh, an even more responsible decision. And overall, I'd say this is a bit of a disaster now. Liquid can't really go for this. They have to leave it over 11 to 8. But Tom, I mean, it looks like they're still going for it. Well, they've managed to force Akuma out. He's dancing for his life, but eventually gets put in the dirt. Time ticking down though, and Liquid really need to get a move on. Link is trying to do everything here. His teammate coming in from above, looking for a battle. Isn't going to be given anything, and eventually both shots connected by BDS. It, it's in my direction this time around. I'm finally innocent. BDS quickly going in towards the A site, but they are shut down right at the start. And Yampi again using this operator in all manner of ways. A four versus one, and the final kill go. Their time, but it's about to reach its climax. They're looking to push this B site quite quickly. The blast pack out onto site. All oh, right on top of him. Rodin is going to be taken down off screen. His screen just comes through the cage and eliminates Hoppy. The spike stuck down below and a spray battle leaves Scream open for Logan to what? deal with him. Cryptics right through the cage loses his life. This is doable. This is winning. What? He just ran through that to take the kill with the off. Yampi is an absolute madman, but that might be the kill that they needed. That might buy them right back into this. Logan tries to fake it, but gets double swung and 12. This is it. Liquid genuinely in with a chance to take us to overtime. And Soulcast has kicked things off with another headshot. He's going through, but there's a player behind him already. We might not have spotted Soulcast. He's just taken over this round. Takas finally puts him in the grave, but now he needs an ace to be able to take this one home. The Viper's Pit almost just thrown in. Like, what can he realistically do from here? Already popping the flashes, but it's screamed to go through. He's made his way quite far forward, and actually the swing is risky. A little bit further out than maybe they'd expected. Akuma, though, tries to take things into his own hands. A 4v3 already. One of the best opportunities we've seen from Team Liquid on this attack, and it's come at the perfect moment. That it has, finally! The buy round works out for Liquid leaving Takus and Hoppy to do it all. We talk about the clint are in control. They have actually taken the lead for the first time in this map, and they're just one round away from winning. This will be a map that BDS never forget if they 10-2 down and manage to take this in overtime. Screen, he's going to take a lot of damage, but the heal is there. Sky to the rescue to bring him back up to 100. That's a pretty heavy hit right off the bat. 
I'm going to have a lot of stars activated. The tiger getting some information, stunning up Akuma, and Sulcus wants to pursue him, but decides against it. Falling all the way back, he has a flash to play with, and there's a smoke. Hey, flashing through smokes, always going to be a nice little play, especially when Scream is primed and ready to take a peek. But instead, they back off. It looks like they think this is a full B fake, and it might be. You know, BDS have control of ropes and over towards A, so their options are wide open with a player outside oh, of B main as well. Oh! It's wherever they want to go and hobby. Oh! He's been done on that one. Roden manages to pull something back. Here's the flash. That'll delay them even further in pushing onto the side. And Cryptics. Oh, he's so good on Takis. Another on Akuma. And by Yumpy as well. And the remaining players are all within the site. Akuma will find one. And actually, they're trading things out quite effectively. Roden has caught another. This was a full stack from Liquid Mitch. And they've lost the jewels. Oh, they've got Yampi coming in on what is, uh, all things considered, a relatively early flank. He's already entering short as the spike is planted, but the problem is... I'm actually curious as well if, if that was a decision by Scream to actually save for once, just to make sure he had the additional pistol! What?! Scream's actually gone for just a spectre in this round. But oh, God. They've given me the power. <laughs> well, the plant is going to come in at the very least, and it's on Hoppy, so run it back is available. They're going to pop that and look to get a little bit aggressive. Hoppy oh, no. It's caught completely. And now, that ultimate used for nothing. Phantom in hand, flash around the corner, gets them nothing. They're buying time. Scream's on the flank. Plenty of time to run down and hoppy really wants to force this fight but he is getting nothing in fact they even wait for the wolf to go through on the back of the flash getting even more information and it all comes down to logan with a specter in hand he individually and again it was brought up how cnib was just able to style on bds well if scream's gonna make those same sort of plays take those risks fight versus this team man for man pound for pound there's a chance and they're running into the judge Something that Yumpy has been using pretty much since he first came onto the scene. No, you can't die to a turret scream. You can't, you cannot die, you can't die to a you can't, you just can't. He has lost a, a couple points of health, but gets healed back up. Team Liquid, man advantage, blade storm to play with. And numbers flash on the back sight. Scream gets on sight fully blinded. And they realize now it's completely clear. They're playing off the Killjoy ultimate. And oh, the aftershock used actually gets Logan. Now the Killjoy ult can be pushed on and destroyed, but it leaves it into a 1v1 scream on the late flank. The shock oh. guard connects and the body. Oh, sorry. Pretty good. Oh, scream. Looking to battle into mid. We know that this move to Jet is one that I think he's been looking for individually. Giving him that little bit of extra freedom. The chance to escape after those early duels. And for now, it's going incredibly well. Yumpy as well. Onto his operator. The weapon uh, pretty much got us all excited. This round can make things very difficult for your opponents. So good from Link. He denies that extra space that was being granted to Hoppy. Not only throws in the fault line to slow him down, but now he has to fall back. But Akuma, as said, he's almost playing how Boaster does. That lurks straight into the site. He's only going to get himself one, though. Again, it's Link, and they try to clear him off the back of the site with the Hunter's Fury, but nothing's going to be found. He's managed to slip his way through into the corner, and he's trying to set up that ultimate to delay them that little bit longer, just surviving past the Nano Swarm, and not going to give anything up just yet watching and waiting but i think the main play here actually comes in from hoppy trying to swing back onto the corner soulcast denies him any further and there comes the rolling thunder leaving them stuck in the mud yeah they're dead they're dead trying? double kill from the aftershock he rolling thunders them so they can't even leave they can't wide swing but they can't just making this breach look excellent every single piece of utility valuable in the way that he's old on he got two kills with a damn aftershock for god's sake like, that shouldn't be <laughs> happening ever yeah uh, it was a, such a nice combination just his utility as well he didn't need anybody else his rolling thunder his aftershock and his spray to keep them tucked in position Oh, that one's not connected, so we won't see. The Sulk is feeling too much pressure. In fact, he's feeling the opposite. He goes out wide looking for kills and instead finds only death. 
Yes, BDS have a man disadvantage, but look at the health of Scream and Link and Yuppie fall right away. The res comes in and Scream's all alone. That operator stands a beacon by itself and... Well, it doesn't feel like three more kills are all too likely. So that must be it. It's confused <laughs> can't me. Can't throw that one. Sizzle's definitely <laughs> offline at this point. That freaked me out. I'll be honest. I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. That was it. See, it, whatever way he pulled it out, I was like, wait, he has another. Yeah, I, I think BDS have, have this one on lockdown. Really, the. Did they just save? It doesn't look like I, I, I thought they were, but now they're starting to move forward, posturing with a flash. There's two players close right, and it's just a firing squad, man. Along with the Astra Star, when you're retaking the A site, handles to play with over on Team what? Liquid. Yancy's making good use of the first. Down on 2 HP. Sky's on the way. Heals can be found. What is this man doing? He's on the site already and good for a double kill. It's all down to Roden. Guess what? It's a 1v3. Guess where he is? C Long. It's the third time this game, but he's not winning it this time around. I had everything to play with and he's not stopping. He's going pushing. He's trying to bait Akuma into the peak. He's got a decent idea. And of course, Scream is not going to lose that battle. No, he's not. Beyond that push as well, he had the paranoia, the flashes coming in, the blind up. I love that the way that. Uh, Ooh, yeah, be a little bit, little, little, little bit too close to that one, buddy. The Hoppy's in trouble. Flash. Oh, there's the ultimate. Okay. They need to defend him, though. More players got to siphon over towards middle. Tack is already down. Hoppy's ult canceled. They're going to push on him, and they've taken him down. That's the judge. On Yampy getting heavy damage done and leaving Logan all alone. Oh, they are coming for him, hunting him down in the final round. <laughs> Do a frenzy for me, Tom. Absolutely not. There is Valorant <laughs> on right now. I, I'm not. I'm not enough a soundboard. Fun, You've got one of those already. I know. I've heard enough things from it. But here we go. <laughs> Looking like the execution about to be coming in. Liquid have got themselves that open a road and trying to lurk within the smoke. He's dropped the spike, but he needs to do so much more. He'll take a second for his troubles, but it's left to Akuma. One versus three. At least one player low, but he's being guarded by the headshot machine himself. A oh, bodyguard many would want to got. have, but he's actually managed to sneak his way past. He doesn't know screams this close, though. <laughs> Absolutely. It's up again for that little bit of short control. Now they're only worried about long where there's... What? Takas just died to that? Okay, I, I know he's I said that HP. Link is good with those aftershocks, but I have absolutely no idea how he's just died to that. That makes little to no HP. sense. I don't know. That, and the I'm worst listening. thing is you I, have I, to sit in the three blasts. <laughs> How, man? How did he die to that? I don't get it. I don't understand. Oh, but this is nice. What a good spot from Logan coming down. Hoppy from afar with the sheriff is deadly. Out of the map. I'm sure eventually BDS are going to make that realization. Now, screen again needs to try and isolate one of these jewels, but he has no idea where they're coming from. They also have a recon dart at this point, and that's where Roden just gets a hell of a lot of information. In Scream's position, it's quite likely that he gets revealed. They haven't shot it. They're creeping onto site completely blind. Okay, well, at least if they stick together, they can win this. They go for individual duels. And well, it will clear out the site, but there's absolutely no one here to clear out. In the first place, oh! Scream just jumped straight into the arms of Roden, who's trying to do as much damage as he can with the shock darts. But if anything, Mitch, he's already done enough. He's given them an advantage as they go into the retake. Hey, not only could he have got that kill if the knives were on point, there's a chance he catches them with shock. Dart out! Hunter's Fury catches a kill, or a damage, rather, a connection straight away. Hoppy not able to get anything done in the ultimate, but Akuma dives on down and is good for two, as always. You can rely on Akuma to get it done. Yampy's got a 1v3 on his hands, and it's not going to be easy. That wall remains up so they can get it to halfway. They're pushing through, though. The opportunities are there, but not actually getting kills onto the site he's going to be lurking within this smoke that jet cloud burst is going to fade fairly quickly but actually cryptics has picked him off anyway liquid have found two openers into this b site and it's looking very good other than cryptics kind of cooking in the corner oh that wasn't nice for hoppy running in to try and be the difference maker but in the end he doesn't get it done either takis finds himself a kill
is going to move to backside. Has the res, but... Well, actually, there is a res that he could go for over towards the A side, but Yampi's even flanking that out. Sulk is behind them on that side. And, dude, there was no way they got away. Yeah, the clock running a little bit low, though. 40 seconds for them to make their move. A lot of utility been placed down fairly early by PDS. This time, oh. though, it's Yumpy. That one-two punch. The aftershock. Well, actually, Chris going to go in it! Oh, Logan's never going to expect that. A man running through his own teammate's utility. Takas is only going to be able to get one. And the remaining two players probably left in shock and awe at the audacity of Screen to make those sort of plays, leaving Roden already making a move back in. The first goes his way, and Hoppy has a 1v2 to win. It's doable. Both players down on long. He needs to bait them into a fight, and he's got that wall to work with. But that camera, they're going to fire it in randomly. If it connects, this round is over for Hoppy. He's got it halfway already, coming off it now. Worried of the sprays, knowing he can get a fight, and that he oh, does. The molly perfectly positioned. It's on to Cryptic. Oh! He goes out wide, and Hoppy gets him. That's the round for BDS. So this is crunch time. The winner of this, well, more so, if the winner is Liquid, BDS are in real trouble. Scout destroyed. Liquid scream on his way up close. The player already giving away his position, but the right click misses. Now he's in trouble. He's stuck on the site with a sheriff, and oh my god, the Guardian. Takis is able to take himself a double. Scream at least answers back, grabs a Vandal, and it's a 2v3. But that ultimate, a lockdown causing problems. Roden on the flank. The weapon comes out for Scream. They've hurt each other, and the fight goes Roden's way. The teleport to the A site leaves Yambi with an opportunity, the potential to win this one out. But it is nonetheless a one versus three. The spike planted, not quite for him. He's going to TP up, hoping someone was close enough to hear it. In fact, loses a bit of HP on the way down. But with an operator, I mean, not only do I not think that's going to have the biggest impact, I don't think he can win this. He has to... Oh, it oh, that's so smart. He takes the first. Hoppy can't even get that halfway defused. He's pushing, but the ultimate's going to dissipate before he gets even close. Yampi now ready to fight on the site. That wall about to fall. And here it goes, holding oh. up close. But a good peek by Logan, waiting for Hoppy. BDS don't have a lot. Like, they're going to be going in for shock darts here, but that's completely under control over on the liquid side. They plant over an angel instead, and now they've got this on lock, right? There's a res, there's a cosmic divide, but the impact of those, it's not often massive. Oh, I love Rolling Thunder, on the other the hand. Counter ultimate. <gasps> it's oh, no. be a chance for Takas. Well, he's got the one tap weapon and has to hit the headshot, but that's exactly what he does. It's still time wasted. The fault line is flawless, but they still seem to be just hitting the heads every single step of the way. Scream, he tries his best, but it isn't going to be enough. Logan will take them to 12 rounds on the board. And you know what? They are Out once more. Roden coming in on that operator knows there's a player on long. That's the freest kill of his life. Even going in for the recon, the shock dart. Oh, hello. Oh, but up above, Scream comes in, punishes that peak. Now you've given Scream an operator. Things get very dangerous indeed. He's waiting for the cage to fade away, and he'll look for a kill. Already spotted Akuma, but they're ready for him now. The res is going to come in and can't quite play with the op anymore. It's been stolen away, so Roden forced to downgrade, but probably just happy to be alive. The rest of his team would be, but Scream keeps on connecting. Solkus on the Ooh. trade, Cryptics with more, and it looks like they've done it. Takis no has to have way. a huge round, and it just won't happen. Flank and the sea holds. They have been so important. Yampi in trouble, peeked up close. He got around the corner and Link found the second. Here comes Scream for more. And this is looking pretty convincingly like we're hitting an overtime Scream <laughs> trying to style on them. But puts it into a two-man advantage. Liquid are definitely ahead in this one, but it is losable, Tom. They have to be cautious to hold on to it. Yeah, we've seen spots like this before, and these spots seem to be where BDS thrive, but this time it's left to one man. Takas, the 1v4 turn three. All three players waiting. Nothing to section them off either. 
He can try and heal himself midway through the battle. Oh, while there is no oh. chance. At least hits himself a so kill coming through for Yumpy. Maybe this is his weapon of choice. We know he loves a niche gun, and this time he's going to be punished for it. Soulcast looking to wrap, but again, they know that Logan likes to hold towards the back. The problem is, can they clear him out this time? Because that's been something they've struggled with so far. Oh, he's caught with utility, but Soulcast will live to tell the tale. Does he check close life here? Oh, Link does. He's so ready for it. Oh, Solkus, come on, man. He's just too good. Logan now on 30 HP has got it all to do. The aftershock almost took him down. And this mid swing, uh, they're spraying before he even comes. This round, this will be one of the most heartbreaking series for them. They've had the yeah. opportunity to win both of these maps and they will go out of this leg of VCT. Much space and harassing any sort of map control out of the hands of BDS on this attack side. That man advantage, it might not last long. Solkus quickly traded though to leave BDS in the lead. Three players primed to just push out from the C side of things. Cryptics has to be huge here and only the one for him. Link left on 10 HP. He's going to be flashed, Look but makes it around the corner. Yampi's flank hasn't been detected. And as oh, they no. check it, oh, he's going to be sideswiped as well. It's all down to Link on this one. And with 10 HP, he has to be so careful. Roden baits oh, it out. No. And the shot from 